Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? We are back with another game of the Fresno State Coronavirus Dynasty. It is season two, and we are about to have our revenge, revenge opportunity, I should say. I was about to say revenge game. It's a revenge opportunity against Hawaii. Hawaii, you may remember, I threw seven picks against them last year, and they beat me by a lot. Uh, worst loss of the season, and probably what kept me out of the top 25 overall. So we have a chance to go now to the Hawaii, into the volcano, and hopefully come away with a victory. And I've, I've been playing better, so I think, dude, it was bad. Dude, you remember that, Jared. We don't need to, don't act surprised. You know that that happened. That was a thing. <laughs> did it Did it end that, was there a game that ended that way last year? We're, so we were talking about my buddy's Madden game. Um, he scored a touchdown to tie the game with nine seconds after the ensuing kickoff. The other guy, first play, threw like a 30-yard pass into coverage. Bad pass, and uh, they called P.I. On my, on my buddy. So the guy got the ball at midfield and then threw one more pass. Completed another pass for like 15 yards, called timeout, kicked a field goal in the game. It was pretty rough. Well, be glad you didn't. Oh, you didn't watch it because I told you not to. <laughs> I told everybody, don't watch this game. See, this, this plays right into my hands because my pass defense is pretty good. If you look at Hawaii, they're the number one pass offense in the country. The rush offense, I think 119. I think there's 119 teams in this game, so I think they're dead last. So, yeah, I'm going to switch over to my non-lag input, and we will get this cracking. Yeah, that, that sounds like something that would happen, especially in today's NFL. So Jared, how's the Easter going, man? Happy Easter to you guys and all those across Twitch land. If you celebrate Easter, happy, happy that. Yeah, that sounds right. James said he's about to have pancakes and coffee. Sounds pretty darn good. Oh, man. Hawaii Stadium is pretty cool. Aloha Bowl. I probably shouldn't say that. Yeah, man, man, happy Easter to all. I probably shouldn't say that as a Fresno fan, because I really don't. They're, I feel like they're our main rival. Boise. Boise would be like, like it, okay, so I'm a Dolphins fan. The Boise would be like if the AFC East was invented, like in, uh, like 1993. Because it's just been a drubbing, like the pay. I mean, the oh, okay, Patriots and Dolphins is actually pretty even, but that, it, it's the, it's like saying the Dolphins and the Patriots are a rival. It's like, well, it's not really the Dolphins being a rival. The Jets are. Bills also up there too. The Patriots, ironically, probably are the least least adversarial team for the Dolphins. All right, here we go. We got to take ball. Now they they got the. Oh, look at the wind. Okay, okay. I, I'm glad I lost the coin toss because I like to pick my direction. I like picking. Uh, I like picking back wind at the back uh, in second quarter, fourth quarter. Ooh, hey, what's up, John? Man, dude, that sucked, man. That was rough. What the heck? Did I? Okay, my controller must have. Uh, my controller must have pointed the thing up. Oh, oh man. I was gonna say my controller must have pointed. My controller's a little wonky, so it must have pointed the arrow up. Dude, that's rough, John. So I was just describing your game, actually. Low we'll cover three. Do they still have Colt Brennan? Yeah, sure looks like it. Yep. Yeah, dude, that's... Ah, I mean, it sucks. I mean, like, that P.I. <gasps> that, that, I mean, that P.I., that could happen at any point in the game. Like, that could have benefited you. I mean, it does suck, but it's just... I guess it's part of the game. I dude, I hope to hope a poise ass. That, that'd, be, that'd be good. Oh, let's flip that. Let's be realistic. They might run it, too. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, I got sucked into the block. What happened? I got I got sucked in. Yeah, I got suctioned. I was trying to go left, and this guy sucked me in. Okay. You know, I actually, if there's a threat to run, I might go with 4-3 for a bit and just see if they really light me up in, uh, in, with, with a pass here. Okay, let's get Chris Carter over there. We'll take Jake Jordy flat. Actually, we'll do Chris Carter flat. We'll manual flat over here. This is a good vulture. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <gasps> let's go. We broke it. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, what's up, Triple J? Welcome back, man. Oh, man, you came at a good time. I just user-picked. I don't even think I pushed the pick button. 
I don't even think I pushed the pick button. Sometimes it'll do that, just proximity, it'll go for it. So I lucked out there. Okay, let's just start off with something imbalanced that I probably won't run for the rest of the game. Ooh, thanks, James. Yeah, we needed that. God, look at all the momentum we got, too. So uh, let's see if we can get him to change their shift off of that. Okay, that's good, actually. That's good. We'll keep that. Not bad, not bad. Dude, thanks, man. It actually wasn't even a user. Like, uh, I don't have the replay up anymore. All I did, I should have shown the replay, though. All I did is just stand there. I actually didn't push the pick. I didn't push the pick button. So I wish I could take more credit, but I was right there. I mean, I knew, I kind of know, like, I've I played this game so long, I kind of know where the passes are going based on the pattern. And another thing, oh, I need to focus on snap counts, too. I actually didn't pay attention before. Let's go two count. Okay. Ooh, ooh, okay, there we go. Oh, no, no, get outside. Ooh, I got lucky there. I could, oh, that's still a loss. Um, another thing, too, is this game has the drills where you can do, like, oh, rush attack and different things. Yeah, the two count looks like, well, I'll do two count until they start jumping it. Um, my favorite is the DB cover by far. It's so much fun. And I and you can see all the different patterns. Let's see, i got to concentrate here. Oh, if it's a man, yeah, here we go. Ah, no, no, no. There's Sacone. We'll try Sacone. Come back. Come back. Ooh. Jump for it. Yeah, let's go. Jump balls. We got those. I mean, pass blocking was good. We'll take that. Oh, I got the flag, darn it. Let's see. Yeah, thanks. I, I got kind of lucky there because it always scares me. You, you, you actually, ironically, you never really want to be standing on the target because you always get, you never get a good an animation. Yeah, we'll take, oh, whatever, whatever. Okay, that's just longer XP, so that's good. So yeah, so I could have forced it to bear. The thing that scares me about bear here is he's so slow, he's not that maneuverable. So in the case, yeah, I see his hands up too. He knows he's open. But it's like he's so, his, his maneuverability is so bad that it's just dicey as to whether I can get him in the right spot to jump, to get a good jump. Now here, the thing that frightens me is the pass target's like right here where the blue dot is, where the blue circle is. And you, you actually never want to be, okay, so maybe it's like right here. But basically, you never want to be standing on it. You want to like run up to it as the ball gets there. So I was a little frightened that I wouldn't get an animation, but I ended up getting a good one. Look at Sacone. I'm sure uh, I'm sure that having momentum factored into that. So we're off to a good start. Yeah, and also Triple J, the, yeah, the count. I realized I need to pay more attention to that because that's like, oh, I should have had more power. I might not make that. Oh, barely made it. Okay. I forgot that I have such fierce wind against me. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, the snap counts. Like that. If I can master the snap count, that's probably more important than calling the right play or making the right read. Because simply blocking, having the proper blocking is so important. Oh, goodness. I got decked. Okay, good. Okay, let's go nickel. I kind of want to just mix it up. We have momentum too, so I really want to key on the pass. Unless they start to run, then we'll key on the run. <gasps> Let's go. Oh, almost had another one. Dude, Brennan is not looking too sharp so far. We'll stay in nickel. Good chance they run the ball. I mean, I want to be, I want to be ready for it, basically. Okay, we'll leave Riley over there. Well, Manuel Jacobs is back here. <gasps> Ooh, okay, I should probably stop going for picks. I got the one. If I went for the bat down here, I'd probably get the bat down, but I went for the pick. I probably was. It's probably because I was running so much. Uh, let's see, let's let Riley run free. Will Manuel with Roberts. Ooh, no, 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 that way? Okay, Will Manuel the flat with Roberts. Actually, get over here. There we go. I like that better. Yeah, oh, oh darn it. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good play. Ooh, nice. What I was going to say is I, th I was probably more diligent about it because I was running I was running uh, QB slot options so much. I was running the same play kind of over and over to where it was easier to concentrate on that. Now I'm running more different plays, and so I'm more concentrated on seeing what the routes are, that kind of stuff. Ooh, we got another one? Yeah, let's go. Dude, they're just serving these up. They're serving these up on a platter. Let's go, Marks Riley. How about it? It's off to a good start. This is a happy Easter so far. I mean, it's just, 
This is pretty uncommon, though. The, the CPU is going to throw that pass. And the irony of it is, I feel like the impact quarterbacks do this more. I don't know what it is. Dude, good question. Hey, that's that's a NCAA career record holder for some time, Timmy Chang. Lego. <laughs> yeah, dude. They really were. They really were. But Chang started. He was wasn't he a four year starter? I mean, he had he had career records, I think, that held for a while. Brendan, I think, only started two years because I think he played a year at Colorado, and then uh, and then transferred, and then I think he had two to play. Yeah, we'll stick with cover three. Now this sounds super greedy, but I'll say it because I usually do say it. If I keep getting picks, I'm not going to get much offensive yardage. Okay, let's get him. Nice. We're able to man, with the momentum. We're able to get these big hits. This is nice. Hey man, yeah. this usually I know it usually doesn't go that way. Seriously, I usually end up in a hole or it's just close. This is pretty rare. Okay, that's no first, right? No first. All right, let's do this. Let's do our famed. Uh, don't know if it really works, but we're gonna call Thunder Green. Yeah, that's insane. Okay, we'll audible to our cover. Well, I guess cover three. I guess I don't have cover two nickel, which I don't like this. Oh yeah, I don't. Okay, I. <gasps> nice, nice. Wouldn't mind more pass rush. Dude, look at the running back just stonewall klutz, man. Look at he chucks him at the end. Goodness, who is this guy? Chop, dude. Chop is chop is chopping. Goodness. Well, at least we stopped him on the pass. It was the Hassan chop, man. That's a short one. Actually, let's do this. We can go ahead and do strong slot here. Wait a minute. Why would why would Sakone be strong slot? WR slot. There we go. I wonder if strong is uh, the off the other side receiver. Okay. Okay. This looks this looks like a good running possibility. We'll do two count again. Okay. They they jumped it, so we'll still we'll change next time. Ooh. Yeah, look at this. We've got momentum early. This is this is what we like. So let's spread it out. Let's go motion WR. No, no, it's not in this formation. It's right here. Okay, they're still in pass D. So this bodes well. Okay, not so much now. So we'll bring Say up. This actually might be this might be a keep. We'll have to read the left end. We'll go one count. Oh goodness, oh goodness. Ooh. Great jump on the one count. We'll try three count next time. Also, I think it helps if we don't wait so long in the snap count. I mean, pardon me, in the play clock. Okay, let's look at, where's the drags? There's some drag plays. Short drags, short drags, yeah. Oh wow. Actually, I might, I might audible a QB choice during the super dime. But they're still out there playing okay, they bring that guy up. Wow, they just know to go right to the uh, that uh, bliss that edge. What if we move him? Nope. Oh, goodness. Man, the pulling lineman. This would have been better if he didn't pull because I had a huge hole here, but he got in the way. Yeah, if he doesn't pull, he blocks this guy, and then I have just days to run. All right, third and ten. Let's see what we got. So here we just want a classic, like, corner post thing. Okay, WR corners. This would be good. So if it's man, we can go to Chaston. If it's zone, I'm gonna look for the dump off, or say at X. But I just don't know if I have if I'll have time. Just want to do a three count again. Wait, did they jump, great jump me last time? We'll do two count. Oh, great jump. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Ah, I got hit on the throw, man. That stinks. Good throw though. Oh, I could have gone to uh, could have gone to Clifton. I just saw that Chaston had plenty of space, and I was about to get nailed. That's too bad. Up a and more coach, up a down 
And I'm really waiting for a team to run a full block again. Okay, we actually want to go down. I really want a team to run a full block on me because I am just really anxious to uh, make right on my botched uh, punt. The, uh, the the abort the abort kick. I botched that so bad, man, with the with the double tap. I just I want to I want to do that again and get it right because it's so cool when you pull it off. See, he throws this every time. This is like automatic. If you're in cover three. You just know he's going there. That's why I sprinted out because I'm like, oh, he's definitely throwing it. They always do that. Riley's already got, what, a couple passes defense? This is a good day already. Second down, 10 yards to go. Actually, let's move Riley to the middle. We'll take Banks over here. Nice. We had two guys there. Dude, my D is flying around right now. Okay, you know, let's let's get crazy and let's go with cover two man, uh, two deep zone. I mean, yeah, cover two man. Okay, if they don't snap it, I'm rushing. Okay. Ah, I didn't have a jump on it. Nice, nice. All right, we got to get something going on this next drive. So last time I changed to, what was it? I changed to QB choice. That didn't work. Pulling linemen came free. So I think they're in a 3-4. Here we go. Ah, let's get down. So I want to go back to WR slot. And then actually probably, or excuse me, WR motion. And then change to PA read flow if I need to. We're not shifting. This looks pretty good. Okay, they shift out. So this is actually this is a keeper situation. As long as the blocking holds up, we'll do a three count. Hit with one. Late jump. That's good. Okay, we were, we didn't have we didn't have a pitch there. I don't think. Uh, yeah, not really. This DB's running up, so I think I made the right call to keep it. And we got two yards. Okay, let's go with corner sit. Guys, look at the front, man. They're in dime again. Let's run PA read flow. Let's change it. Because I want to run here. Great jump that time. Okay, we've got the fall forward. That's good. So who on the right side there? Okay, let's run this HB divide seam. So I can either hit Sacone over the middle. Yeah, look, they're kind of bunched up on the line. And they've been jumping my snaps. Otherwise, I'd agree. There we go. We got the first, right? Yeah. I normally don't like to throw a hitch, but he had good inside position there. All right, far left. Let's go. Let's go. QB slot out of the big, out of the big formation here. Yeah, dude. They're. I mean, is this a? Is that a four-four? I don't even know what defense that is. No, it's a three-four. Three down linemen. Oh, I try to get a stiff arm to the right. They run the Dude, Sunshine State. I don't know. He might just ask because most of the people in here are just people that I know. I don't get a lot of random folks floating through. I think you're the second. I think you're the second random person that's come in. Great jump. Here we go. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Switch ball hand. Get him. Oh, yeah. And they were lucky that one didn't go for more. No question, and they were not ready for that option play. Well, I also haven't been streaming regularly, so it's possible that doing more streaming. Let's run this angle. Doing more streaming, I might be a... Uh, I don't know, I might get more people watching. I'll tell you what I want, man. I, oh, okay, they're in man. Okay, I'm going to float it out. I'm going to float it out to Chaston. And we're actually going to block Clifton. We're going to float one on the, on the uh, semi-deep out. Here we go. Oh, too far. No, got it. Yes. Nice pass. Dude, Brand Stater throws some good passes. We just had to give him a year to cook. Oh, but I'll tell you what. If I could get 
Yeah, I think we are. And then the other dude, Stephen Epper, not really sure where he's from, but he's the other guy that just came in randomly. Or maybe from YouTube, or I don't know. Um, if I can get 50 followers, if I can get 50 followers and average three viewers. Oh, that's right. He was from Kentucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, if I can get 50 followers and average three viewers, I get my own emote. I can make my own emote. That's really all I really want. I just think that would be sick. I don't know what I would make it. Yeah, I did full power. Thank you. I did full power. Dude, we're rolling, man. Dude, I can't believe UNLV's 11th. Utah's number, what, 16 or something like that. I mean, it makes me wonder if if I could restart this dynasty. I wonder if I could swap Fresno into, <laughs> into the Mountain West, because you can. I know that you can. You can move. You can swap in FCS teams. Okay, we're trying to jump here. You can uh, you can swap in FCS teams, but uh, oh, what's a little different than last year? Oh, as far as the strength of schedule, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, because I know you can, I know you can, oh, yeah, oh, way different. Yeah, this is, oh, it was so bad last year. Our old manual, we'll get crazy. What was that? That was strange. Maybe, you know what, here, this is another example, I feel like, of when the CPU is throwing it to a covered guy, sometimes the passages aren't on target, or not on target. Because it's magic. It's like when my, when I'm throwing to a covered guy, oh, dude, it's bullseye. It is an absolute bullseye to the defender. But when they're throwing a really bad pass, it's really badly covered. It just goes in the dirt or in the stands. Um, what I was going to say is you can swap in FCS teams. Dude, he is shook, man. He should be. Dude, this is is this the game where, where uh, Marcus Riley laid the wood? We might need to recreate that. Let's see, do we have like a spy now? Let's just roll with. Oh, we need to do a LB rush. Yeah, there we go. We need to recreate this. So you can swap in FCS teams, but I don't know if you can move around FBS teams. Oh, nice. I did sub out a dot for a dot, but I, uh, oh, you can't do it? Okay. No, I did sub out a dot for a dot, but it was because I wanted to recreate Riley putting Brennan uh, in the hospital. Okay, where is return? Okay. I think this is that game because it was on the island. But we also need Brennan to somehow scramble the sideline, so I guess we can recreate it fully. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess I called for a catch. I didn't think it took. I want to get some more running yards. Let's see. Let's go with PA Reed here. Where's PA Reed? Not that I know of. I don't. I don't think they have that. This could be a situation for swing pass. We'll fan the line. I don't know if that'll help. Let's see. Oh no, that's a pick. Yeah. I thought he was gonna. I don't know. Oh, I thought he was just gonna chill out there. Don't worry, guys. This. Yeah, man, I guess I got. I got. I got a little cheeky, cause I'm up by a lot. And they badly needed that interception. It's sure gonna help if they can march down the field and score. Watch out. We might have a game here. Yeah, and that's that's. Yeah, I, I wouldn't do that against a better team or if I, you know, if it was more in hand. I got. I got a little cheeky. The Warriors come out the shotgun. Brennan delivers. It's complete. Look at this, there's no engagement. I'm just, I'm right up on him. There's no tackle engagement. Bizarre. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's a package to move around your defensive ends anywhere in particular. Like D end at linebacker. That'd be pretty cool though. Yeah, let's move this out actually. Oh my gosh, we got that stupid loop around. Ugh. Yeah, really let's do this. this kid is we'll call blitz. And then like audible to cover three. Oh. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, our guys are flying around. We got the pick back. Man, you 
I got lucky. Oh, look at his animation. Is this Devon Bess? I think it is. Yeah. Look at his animation. It, it's completely wrong. You don't see this too often. Oh, no, okay, he does reach back. Actually, he needs to reach back. What is the trajectory of the ball? That is weird, man. It's going, going, going. Yeah. Yeah, dude, Ben Jacobs, he's been doing work. Okay, let's go Let's go back to PA read flow, and we're just not throwing that sideline. Because, okay, or just we got to remember that he turns up field. Okay, this looks like we can hand it off here. We'll do it on a one count, because I kind of forget. I lost track of my snap counts. Yeah, if we're doing this, we don't. We shouldn't throw a pick ever if we're able to run like this. Over the top. Okay, another one. They scrunch in. All right, this is probably another handoff. FSU, the Knolls. We have another Knoll fan in here. In fact, okay, they figured that one out, didn't they? Oh, scoot him out. Look at the agility of Clifton. Like, just the ability to get by him, cut up field, and then kind of just wiggle out the other FSU. Right, uh, that's true. This is an FSU heavy uh, stream right here. All right, so here I'm basically looking to force it into Dorsey if there's an opening. Otherwise, we're going the swing to Clifton. Okay, we'll get Dorsey. <laughs> Dude, don't alienate uh, friendly viewers, Jared. Dude, that's you're, you're speaking my language, man. 04, 04 is the one I started on. That was just like, dude, that was so that was so fun. All right, so we're looking at drags here. Probably hit Dorsey again. Actually, Chaston, if it's quick, otherwise wait for Dorsey to come over. Yeah, not there. No, 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 no. There we go, Dorsey. Nice. And look at the blocking. Blocking's holding up. And I feel like it helps a lot because I want to go to this side. I know it's kind of cheesy to like scramble out here, but it's just it's such a better angle for the pass when it's straight to straight. So Chaston come loose. Chaston kind of came loose. I could have waited. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, Hawaii's D line is not that good, and I have momentum. It's making all the difference. So let's go. Let's go with some QB slot action. I'm having better luck running the ball without the pulling lineman in this game. I think a lot of it's because of this 4-3-4, uh, pardon me. It's the 3-4 alignment. It really throws it off. I mean, it makes me wonder if I should look into 3-4. And also, I do have, let's see, I think I need to go two count. Ooh, got decked. And I got greedy there, too, on my cut. I got greedy. So what I try to do is I... I was just kind of doing things faster than my brain could process. I was actually trying to cut in between these guys. So I was trying to cut in this direction. I should have just stuck with going upfield. Ran right into the guy. Oh, that's pretty cool. Dude, that's a nice bro in law. Okay, let's run this WR drag. Okay, they're in a super dime. Let's see if we can audible to uh, PA read flow. Uh, actually, I kind of like this. I like their spacing. Their spacing's pretty good, so I'm gonna look for Chaston. Otherwise, say, here we go. See, I actually have a good backup running uh, middle linebacker. Another thing too is my defensive tackle. It would put me with this 87 defensive tackle. Like my D line would be an average of 88 if I did that. And I actually have another good middle linebacker. He's a uh, oh wait no oh he's being redshirted. Because it's this guy. He's pretty good, but I'm registering him. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't think this game this game cares too much about what the size is. But you're right, though. These are not prototypical. Um, well, what is it? You usually have one, like your, what is it, your your strong side outside linebacker. So uh, the, I think strong side outside linebacker is usually like DN size, right? And that's where I could even put maybe uh like what's what's the rating of uh of uh, Malik Malik Jackson, not that high. Yeah, we were, I was actually talking about that the other day, John, about how we played in that league, and we were using Arkansas. It's whatever year McFadden was a junior, and wasn't he on the? I think he was on the cover of the game. No, 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 he's on the cover of the game. Okay, he's on the. You're, you're never in the game if you're on the cover. Why did he throw a stiff arm? I want to change ball hands. Unbelievable. They can't get 
this offense off the field. Oh, they've been like a machine on this drive. So, I th yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it was where McFadden was an absolute beast. Clear out stop, curl flats, trips attack. Okay, so we're in a similar situation here. Far right side of the field. Okay, this looks like zone, though. So we might be going up top to say. Okay, I don't, I'm not throwing Clifton here. It's just not in my peripheral very well. So we're going to go for a three count. <sighs> yeah, there we go. There we go. I was a little, I don't know why I gassed. Whenever the ball's in the air that long, maybe that's why I gassed. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, they had Hillis and, uh, and McFadden. That was a lot of fun, man. Okay, so let's go. We'll go to this formation here because we have audibles. We don't have to move forward. We're going to go with PA read flow. Okay, they come out in. Looks like a dime or a... Oh, this is a nickel. Okay, I don't think that left inside DB is rushing. I don't think. So we'll do a three count. Here we go. Get in. Get in. Yeah. All right, we're doing work. Yeah, Hillis was good. And there, so there's that one. Man, Arkansas had a good run with NCAA games because – or they just they, – they've had a few of the really dominant players over the years. Because I want to say it was 05, they had uh, Matt Jones. Matt Jones was crazy good in 05 because he had like – he had like – or did I say 85? I think he had like he had like 85 speed, 88 speed. He had crazy speed. And that was back when they didn't give quarterback speed. I mean, for whatever reason, older Madden's NCAs they did, they did not give quarterback speed. I mean, I think the first I think the first game Mike Vick was in, he had like he had like 72 speed or something, didn't he? He didn't have speed, and then they finally started giving him speed. Well, that's the other one I was going to say is Mallet, which I think was in I think the 13 version. That's the one I played a lot on Xbox 360. Oh, it's going to try to rush the QB. <gasps> Ooh, let's go. Dude, our hand, we're, we're, we're getting handsy in the secondary now. That was Riley, right? Yeah, look at that. And then who came up for it? Jenkins? Jenkins. Yeah. Dude, Corso's calling it over already. I think it's because of the picks, though. Like he said, oh, yeah, I'll pack it up and try again next week. But I think it's because of the picks, not because of the score. Because, yeah, you wouldn't say that in the first half. Yeah, Mallet was unsolvable in that game. And I remember there was a gentleman I used to play online. I don't even know who it was. I'm going to concentrate here. That's uh, oh yeah, I should have thrown that earlier. Did he get hit? Oh come on, I threw that way before. That's kind of garbage. Um, there was somebody I used to run into online a bunch that used Arkansas, and I could not stop his Ryan Mallet. Let's go with PA Reed flow. Look to run the ball. Running's working really well. So they're rushing LB. They're fanning out. So, this looks like zone. I think I might tr still try to run the ball here. There we go. Get a hole, get a hole. Yes. Oh, where'd that guy come from? I seriously didn't see this guy. Where did he come from? Oh, he just ran up. Okay. He just ran up. For some reason, it looked like he came from behind me. Oh, man. Let's go with drags here. I don't trust my line in these situations. PWR in, short drags. So if McFadden was on the cover, he wouldn't be in the game, though. They would always put you on the cover the year after you left for the NFL. Watching computers play against each other, do you do that for fun, or do, were you doing like a sim type of thing? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, there we got it. Dude, Chaston. Chaston is making it happen right now. Oh, that was... Really? Oh, man. Who... Okay, that's funny. No, I just, I for some reason, I really thought it was 13 that had Mallet as a beast. I could be mistaken, though. I'm not, I remember a lot of stuff, as you guys realize, but uh, I don't remember everything. Does anybody want to confirm that? Not that I don't trust you, Jared. You know I love you. Let's go. Yes. I love I love I love it when I don't have to stretch it out wide, man. And that's why I often don't stretch it out wide when I should. It's because I like running up the gut. I like to find the crease, man. Yeah, I would not mind that. What do we got? Five already or four? 
on just a game to game basis. Yeah, this guy's been consistently good all year long. Bro. Yeah. It is pretty cool. They do a great job with the presentation and all that stuff. Yeah, I, I don't blame you. And he tacks on the extra point. So under three minutes to go in the second quarter. And the score, Fresno State 35, Hawaii nothing. We'll kick off. I'm going to tap the height of my kick up a little bit and see if I can pin it or get it to land at like the one. Go down a touch. It's too far. Cause remember that's what uh that's what ended up uh, against Washington last season. Kicking it up, I caused my guys to kind of overrun the kick, and that's how they ended up with that good kick return that almost tied the game. Okay, here we go. Oh goodness! Yeah, they're like, we're we're gonna just run this. We don't need to throw more picks. Let's run. Let's run cover one zone. Riley's in the zone. We'll put him in a hook zone. Okay, we'll man up over here. Riley, I think, has a chance to do something on this play. I mean, the hook zone is as good as anything. We got him. Okay, we'll do this. We'll chance it. We'll chance it. We're up 35. We'll chance it. I'm going to manual control Edwards on deep coverage. I just have to make sure to stay deep. Okay, very nice. Ooh, look at that. What almost happened? I was looking at my guy. Dude, look at Riley. <laughs> he could have picked that. Could have been another pick. Yeah, I've actually wondered about it. Uh, like, I mean, this is, this is kind of a fun alternative to sports. But, uh... Ooh, let's go. Oh, well, you can't can't get them all. I, I was wondering if it, if you could set up some kind of simulation deal. Kind of like, I mean, you got, I don't know if you guys know what salty bet is. Probably not. I mean, I, I know Jared knows, but could you set up like a salty bet type of deal, but with uh, with a game like like Madden or NCA? Okay, we'll call timeout. We'll get greedy. And that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I did see on Twitch there was somebody doing it with Tech Mobile. I think it was like Retro Gaming Live. Either Retro Gaming Live or like Speedrun Live, something like that. They were they were doing like Tech Mobile. It was like they were calling it like Social Distancing Bowl or something. But, yeah, I don't know if there's a way. It, you'd have to, I don't know, you'd have to find some way to keep the game shorter. I, I don't know. But there's no accelerated clock, so, yeah, I'm really not sure. Okay, we might try to do the keeper here. We have They have that dot linebacker, but I think this is still what the, what it's dictating. There we go. Ooh, go, 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 go. Oh, he got hung up. He got hung up on the linebacker. No! Oh, darn it. Elbow. What's all about elbows? We had a couple guys hurt their elbows last time. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Corso. All right, let's uh, let's try to do some running. Oh, let's do motion WR because that's another salty bet is so it's called salty bet and it's it's this fighting game stream where you can ah oh, they're not doing many favors with the alignments. This looks pretty crappy actually, but it's okay. We'll try to go right. I don't know. I don't know. We'll fan out. We'll see. Nope. 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 Nothing. No. Nope. Darn it. Okay. Um. Dude, he is. He is. The Corso, he's, he's the clincher, man. He's so good. So here's what I might do. I might run a swing pass. Let's get one of these formations that has the, the short swing pass. So spacing, corner set. Let's actually run spacing. Because, I don't know, the arrow, he runs farther. I don't know if that means he actually does run farther, but we'll check it out. Um, yeah, that, I think I'm going to do the swing pass here just to make sure that I complete it. Ooh, we got a chance. Oh, yeah, not quite. They'll call timeout, I think. They do not call timeout. I'm actually going to... I think they might call timeout as soon as I call a punt, though, so I'm going to wait. I'll wait till like, 12 seconds. Um, salty Bet is this fighting game stream. And it's called it's called Salty Bet, if you want to look it up. That's the channel. Uh, and you can... It has, like, a, a, a kind of a, an accompanying website where you can bet on the matches. And it's this crazy. Oh, uh, that's gonna be out of the end zone. Oh, that's, oh, that's a boomer. Uh, 
It's 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 this fighting game called uh, it's called Mugen M U G E N. It, it's an abbreviation for something, but it's not an actual fighting game per se. God, six weeks of no Chastin, dang it! Yeah, Mu yeah, Mugen, yeah. And what it does is that you can create characters for it, and there's just a template. Oh, this is oh, this would have been the time to uh, that would have been the play to light up Brennan with uh, Riley. But yeah, Mugen, it lets you create your own characters and import them into the game. And so it gives you templates and stuff to do the graphics and uh, and create moves and things like that. And so you can import your own guys in the game. So Salty Bet has just this, like, infinite backlog of characters imported into it. So I don't know if it's randomized or if somebody picks them out, but it basically pits, like, random people against each other. And it'll be, like, it'll seriously be, like, Hello Kitty against... Like Wolverine, like it's just crazy. It's just crazy stuff. And so they'll have a kind of a you know, in like a loading screen in a fighting game. When oh yeah, the attacks are ridiculous. Cause the the matches last a while. Um, so you know, in a fighting game loading screen, it'll have like a picture of the two fighters while it's loading or whatever. Oh goodness, go 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 go! Get outside! Oh god, I hate that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. It's crazy. <laughs> no explorer. It's exactly like that, and it's pretty awesome. And so what happens is the loading screen, they make it like a minute long or like 45 seconds long so that you can go on the website and bet. It's like, oh, do I want to bet on Dora or do I want to bet on Goku? It's pretty cool. I've actually never done the betting. I'll just watch the stream. I'll just watch the fights because they're hilarious. Okay, here we go. We're going to try to uh, shoehorn it to Dorsey or go Wiley, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, here comes Dorsey. We'll shoehorn it in. He holds on because we have momentum. We could have gone up top. Yeah, we could have hit uh, as a say on the post. Yeah, we could have done that. Yeah, it's fake money. Fake money. I, I don't want to yeah, don't want to imply otherwise. Yeah, it's, it's play money. So here, let's do the corner sit, and we'll look for the swing pass. Okay, Clifton's feeling pretty good, even though he got lit up on the last time he touched the ball. So here we go. Oh, okay, they're offsides. I threw it too quickly. Uh, so, so Mugen is designed to have to so you can create characters. If you import players into Tecmo, which they do that, it'll be like, oh, here's the 2019 roster update for Tecmo. That's more of a hack. They actually get into the game code and mess with it. Okay, we want a handoff here. Let's do like a three count, because I really don't. Okay, let's do two, because I lost count of my, my snap counts. Of course it's a freaking great jump. Of course, of course. Okay, it's going to go down. Okay, nice. Yeah, I mean, M Mugen is is designed for that. Okay, let's do this. get crazy here. Let's try. I'd never run this play. Where is it? Is there a screen pass in here? Maybe it's in here. I just want to try it, because uh, Clifton's in the zone. Yeah, here we go. HP screen. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics. Okay, they're in a 3-4. They got Dotman over there, so let's see how they cover him. Fresno State in a four-wide set. He looks to throw on first down. Falling back as he throws. Bowling ball? Oh, no bowling ball. Taken down at the 50. They went with the screen. Yeah, yeah, the Tecmo updates, those are, those are hacks. I mean, it kind of hacks. I mean, it's not like, I don't know. You basically just get in and edit players, so it's that kind of hack. Let's run PA read. We can look to audible. Okay, this looks good. Regular dime P read. I like it. Let's see their shift though. Shift linebacker. I can deal with that. Okay, they're doubling slot. I don't know if that's actually doubling slot. I really have no idea. Ooh, look at that. And so that's a nice thing here too. Is sometimes the DBs, as you can see, they'll stick with the the guy running the pass pattern. So that's how you can get potentially. I mean, it's kind of feast or famine though. If they blitz, so if this guy's set to blitz, he's going to just come up and tackle you. But if he's set to guard, uh, you know, pass defense, they'll drift back. It's okay. Oh, wife's heading out. She had some parting words. Kind ones, though, I assure you. What play did I just call? Okay, let's change to... Let's try it, even though it hasn't been working. We'll try QB choice. Can we drive... Okay, we can bring Doc Man in, so that's good. Ooh, get away. Okay, good. Let's go down. Down of the drive. Clifton is just feeling it right now. Clifton is feeling it. Let's try to hook up a swing pass. Flood. Yeah, let's try flood. 
I don't think that swing pass pattern is good for this short side of the field, but I bet they're blitzing. Look how they're, they just have the weirdest alignment right now. So I'm going to look to go to Saccone. It's all on the left here. It's either Saccone or it's Clifton. Clifton. Oh, no. Through too late. See, yep, I knew it wasn't good. I don't know why I did it. Okay, let's see what we can get in the QB slot. Yeah, might as well just feed Clifton. Super, super dime. Shift over. That's good. I'd kind of like to hit a hole on the right, off tackle right. But let's see what we got. Let's just do some fix snaps here. Okay, here we go. Oh, 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 nice. Oh, okay. I guess I got lucky on the first missed tackle. Yeah, because I'm not sprinting here either. And that was a good fall forward. Third and five. I've been having good luck with drags in this situation, so let's see what we can get doing that. WR, I don't want play action. Yeah, we'll do short drags. We'll do short drags, and then we also... Oh, I do want to make the read... Okay, look, they have, like... They're still on this 4-3... Three, or 3-4. Three, I do... Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to block Clifton. I want to look for man to see if I can hit Saccone deep. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, I don't. Nope, 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 nope. Nobody there. Nobody home. Was there anybody home, though? Not really. Saccone corner. There really wasn't anybody... Yeah, it really wasn't there. Was he open? I mean, yeah. So I had to wait a while, though. I mean, I guess I didn't have to run away like that. I just get scared. Well, because uh, my, part of my reasoning, too, is I'm looking for drag coming across this way. And what I see is my read is kind of like I see these guys drift back, so I know the, the, the drag left is probably not happening. So I start to drift right to see if I can get that drag. I mean, these are all kind of like visceral. I'm not actually thinking this in real time. Okay, we have wind against, right? 42 into the wind. I might want to lower the boom on the kick here a bit. I'm going to try that. We'll go down. I went down a touch on the on the kick, the kick height. Okay, max power. Oh, we got it. We got it. Okay, so there, it, that, that did better than I thought. But it's crazy because my punts and my kicks, kickoffs, yeah, it was kind of a mess. So I'm happy with getting rid of it there. My punts and my kickoffs have all been drifting back like mad, so I'm kind of surprised the field goal was that strong. See, look how much that drifted back. I don't know. That's like full-on 10 yards shorter, and then the field goal did not look like it was 10 yards shorter. Oh, you know what? I think this is territory to uh, take out Klutz and Riley because we already lost. Oh, man, I'm just freaking lamenting the, how we lost uh, – we lost uh, Chaston for six weeks, man. At least, At least he's not – He's not like – he's not head and shoulders above. I mean, he's not Clifton level. As, well, he doesn't have a dot. That just really stinks. So now it's Saccone, Say. I mean, dude's got to step up. We have depth, though. So we're going down to – see, look at this. Our, all of our receivers, will top four, will still be in the 70s, so that's good. So let's get, out, get Riley out of there, too. Kadir Brown. Yeah, we'll stick with that. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coca-Cola. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and take out um, Brand Sater and uh, Clifton as well. And Clifton already has over 100, I believe. Mm -hmm. All right, Kadir. Who we got out here? Oh, Moses Harris. Okay, yeah, this is this is dime, huh? Yeah, it's dime. Funaki drops the throw. Stepping up. Surveys the field. Funaki passes. Oh. And he pulls it down. Oh, they subbed out the QB. Brennan, it's time to have a sit, Brennan. We don't want to ruin your stats anymore and endanger your draft status. All right, what do we got? Let's get a DB in the flat. We can fan these guys out. All manual, all manual Kadir Brown. Actually, it's, oh, dang it. I was going to rush, actually, at the last moment. Okay, nice D, nice D. That's just good defense right there. I think my D, I was thinking about this, I think, this morning. I think my D is going to peak. I think my offense is going to peak next year. I think my D is going to peak in two years. Because I have so many freshmen right now. So you're going to have Jacobs. You're going to have uh, the safety, what is it, Ed, Edwards, I think. Um, Chris Carter and Malik Jackson, they're all going to be juniors. 
simple, but whenever you can gain so third and six. Yardage, Let's do this. Let's go cover two. We've got a third and six. I'm going to manual Edwards. God, look at the receivers. They're actually pretty good. Devon Best is a beast in this game. So, yeah, next year you'll have Brand Sater as a senior. You're going to have Ryan Matthews probably with a dot. Oh, nice play. Nice play. If this is more of an arc, they would have had a better shot because this guy's running corner. He just didn't put enough air under it. Because, look, if, if uh, what is this, Banks, I think? If he doesn't, uh, yeah, what is it, Banks? Yeah, if he doesn't bat it down, then Simmons will. Simmons is right there. So, just not a good, yeah. Yeah, so next year, it's – yeah, it was. It was. And part of it's just being able to get to the ball. Because he's in range of the ball, that's how you get you get that to start with. Yeah, next year, Brandstater. Oh, goodness. Yeah, this is danger zone. Just oh, get out. Get out. Okay, that's better than – no, I'm not doing that. Oh, no, I didn't mean to dive on it. I was <laughs> – I just hit X for the heck of it to dive. Look, I'm running to the sideline. I'm just like, oh, I'll just dive out of the way because I don't want to touch it. It takes me toward the ball. Dude, I got lucky. I got lucky. All right, let's do this. So let's uh, hook up. So we had, did we get like a really long run with Lanier last week? I need to make that into a clip, actually. Let's get Lanier back there, and we'll run P.A. Reed. No, the thing, I look, I, I was, I was running. I, I, I actually, do, I hit dive. I'm, I'm like trying to dive out of the way. So look where I'm running. I'm running to the sideline. I hit X to try to dive out of the way. Just, I mean, because I'm trying to get out of the way. But because I hit X on a ball that's on the ground, it just automatically took me to the ball. I didn't know it was going to do that. All right, here we go. They got, they're got they blitzing. This is some funny business right here. Don't care for it. We'll go ahead and run it and try to do a swing pass here. Actually, Wiley's coming open. Yeah. There we go. Oh, look at this. <gasps> look at this. Oh, we almost got, got going loose. I think the thing that got me was the auto hurdle. Because right here, I think, does he hurdle? Yeah, he hurdles. Because otherwise, I'm cutting back in. I'm trying to cut back in, but the hurdle takes me out of bounds. And into that guy. Ooh, that was about to be that was about to be pretty sick. I mean, it was pretty sick already. So let's try, okay, let's do the big one, the big set here. HP sub, we'll go with some QB slot from here. So yeah, Chaston will be better. All my receivers are coming back except Dorsey, but he's, there are other guys as good as him. It's going to be pretty pretty good offense next year. Here we go. Let's go, Lanier. Set him down. He's Set him down. Yeah. He's at the what a play. Yeah. Sorry. He's sorry, Coach James. I apologize, man. That was not intended. Dude, that's it. Okay. Okay. Well, we might let it rock. We'll see if Wiley can get open in the flat again. Let's do a couple of... There we go. Spin? Yeah, spin move. So is Wiley open? Nope. Okay, Dorsey was. Dorsey. Well, see, I would have had to set my feet to get a better throw. I'm okay with the back foot on that route because he's all by himself. Dorsey, I really don't want to throw that off my back foot. So let's run. Is there a PA read here? PA QB choice? Yeah, I'll run this. We'll just try some different stuff. So this is a handoff choice, but Matthews blocks. Oh, I actually might counter. I might counter back to the left if blocking holds up. Well, I'll counter back to the left either way. I just got to hope that blocking holds up. Ooh, go, go, go. Lay block, lay block, lay block. Urgh, yes. Oh, okay. Didn't get fast enough. That's okay. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I see the pass blocking. I forget about how they pass block because it's pass play. We've got a first and ten Ball on the 21 yard line. The Warriors bring in their dime package. We'll still have to bleed some clock, too. Actually, let's just run the next two and get the quarter over. Yeah, get that nice fall forward. Yeah, this is a key. This is key to NCAA. You always want to get that stiff arm out because that's how you get the fall forward, or at least the most likely to fall forward. Because you're doing two things: you're you're protecting yourself from the big hit generally, and uh, and you're uh, you're setting yourself up for a better a better uh, a better fall forward animation. 
Okay, let's run this Air Force style where like the guy motions and as soon as he sets, you snap it. Huh. There we go. Ooh, this has potential. Let's go, Lanier. Let's go, Lanier. I could, I could. It's a, it's a, it's a skinny post, right? Or is it just a post? I think it's kind of a skinny post, which isn't bad. It's not bad at all. The only issue, I mean, you, what is it? I mean, the, the big difference is, yeah, thanks, man. That was good. That worked out well. The main difference is you're going to be, uh, with the regular post, you're kind of cutting under the deep safety. With the skinny post, you're kind of running more in between them. Yeah. So yeah, revenge is being exacted on Hawaii. So this is good. Oh, I got decked. Chris Carter cleaned up though. Uh, cover two. Let's go cover one. Let's see how our guys do. Kind of isolated in space. Who do want to man up? Anybody? Let's man up. We'll take on Bess. Oh, actually, you know what? We got to let's manual Malik Jackson. Ah, oh, I didn't get anything there. Okay, they could have called PI on me there. I kind of stuttered. This is where they can call PI because I click on and I kind of just wiggle back and forth. I think so. No, that's a good question, though. That's a really good question. Well, what was the final? It wasn't like, I don't think I, I think I lost by like four TEs. Ah, that's a good question, though, man. That's a really good question. Woo! Jordy. Jordy. Get loose. That's a, wow. What is now, this is strange. This I do not understand. Okay, hold on, hold on. I was thinking Jordy was the deep, the cover one deep. I don't think he was. Yeah, he's on the slot guy. Hmm. He had to have been, yeah, because uh, Edwards fades deep, so Jordy must have been. So what's the lineup, though? Boom, boom. This is, okay, yeah, because this is a, no, I don't understand. I don't know what. He should have been on the running back. Oh, he's a spy. Okay, okay, here you go. So with this I'm trying to figure out. This, uh, what, who is this? Kadir Brown is in a hook zone. Edwards is in a deep zone. Jordy is manned up on the running back. So here's what happened. Jordy is run, manned up on the running back, but the running back is pass blocking. So I believe Jordy becomes either a hook zone or a, or a spy. I think he's a spy. So that's why he runs up just right off the snap. So I got lucky there. I mean, it was just good circumstances. So let's run QB slot. Was he? Where is he? Yeah. Yeah, because honestly, this guy, Edward, uh, Edwards, we've put him back here in that in that defense before, and he's, he's not much help. So it's pretty true. It was basically no safety help. The Bulldogs come out in a shotgun. On the goose, on the goose. They'll run the option. Nice. They'll bring him down at the 15 yard line. He picked up big yardage on that run. Oh, All right, we'll run it one more time, and assuming we don't get a touchdown, we will end the quarter. So I think that's what I said last time. I feel like it was like seven or eight minutes ago. I said, yeah, let's just let's just run it out and end the quarter. Didn't quite happen. Let's try moving. Oops, say over. Does that change their alignment? Not really. Let's move Bear instead. Oh, I kind of liked how when he, he drug him back a little bit. That would have been good. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. I screwed that up. I should have bounced it out. But I saw this guy coming, so I kind of want to go back inside. It was just all moving too fast for my for my, uh, my amoeba my amoeba brain. Couldn't process. Island fever. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying this despite the blowouts. I mean, I, I think it's fun. I think every kind of game is fun. Blowouts, getting blown out. I mean, it's all, you, you just always want to, I'm always trying to optimize what I'm doing. Second and 12. Let's look at hitch corner. What side of the field? Okay, so we've got Saccone. I'm going to look for Saccone or Matthews coming over the middle. The defense sets up in the dime. Okay, it's man. 
There we go. Oh, that's easy. I don't even have to jump. Huh. Oh, he got over there. Oh, I do. Oh, I do have one pick. Oh, did I throw a pick, dude? Oh man, the makeup speed. I mean, Norton's got a good arm too. I mean, can I throw this any better? I throw this at the break. Like, look at that. Oh, the break, the break and the throw are simultaneous. So who gets over there? Oh, it's the guy guarding Sei. Goodness, that's too bad. Yeah, let's just check so we don't have to speculate. Five total right now. And I threw one. So game total is six, but I've picked off five. Okay. Let's try to run some of this formation. Uh, clear out. Let's try this halfback out. So this will require some blocking. Basically looking for Say or Wiley coming across if they have a bunch of deep guys. Okay, if they blitz that linebacker that's flashing, I gotta get rid of this. Okay, here we go, here we go. Say up top, say up top, say up top. Let's go. And I figured this one out too. I've worked on, I was working on this in practice mode. This post, basically for this post, I want to precision high and bullet it. That way the pass gets in there quickly so that the DBs can't, uh, can't crash in. And it keeps it high to where it creates a situation where he can jump. Yeah, they took Brandon out. Yeah, no, they took him out. They took him out after the four picks. And I think they normally wouldn't do that. They would only do that if uh, if it's a blowout. Like if the game's in hand and you have four picks, I think they're leaving their starter in. But since it's out of hand, they're taking him out. Okay, but let's, before we get here, let's do other things like take out. Uh, we'll do some other subs here. Let's put Moses Harris. We will do Norm McDonald. We'll take out Jenkins and put in, what is it? Uh, what is it, Damien Owens? Yeah. Let's see what else. Let's put Kenny, John Monga in there, Kenny Avon. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, the game has some realism like that. It's pretty cool. Number seven feels it in the end zone. They've been getting walloped all day, but at least they're still. All right, right. let's keep with the cover one. Okay, we'll man up on Bess. Hawaii comes out of the shotgun. Let's it go. Ooh, wow! Look at that. Simmons almost had that. Uh, so he didn't really do an animation. He just ran up there. And Herbie, that was a good looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver. Hey, James, we're looking pretty good on uh, pass D. Good looking play. 101 yards, I think they have. Okay, this is going to be tough. I'm manned up on Bess. I have to take good angles here. Okay. Oh, no. Underran it. I was trying to square up. That's my bad. So what did I do? How did I, how did I, what did I do wrong there? Do I need to just, do I need, like, did I do too, too early of a strafe? Maybe I don't want to strafe. My habit is to strafe and square up because that's just kind of, I feel like that's what normal just stay in front of your guy kind of logic dictates, but he ran around me. Maybe I just need to kind of just float over and not strafe because the strafe kills my, uh, kills my momentum. Uh, five wide. I, th this needs to be cover three, but we'll call it late though. Okay, we'll call it now and we'll go to Malik Jackson. Ah, late jump. I need to try to get some, let's try to get some, maybe get a sack with Malik Jackson. I feel like that will help his, uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. It is, you're, that's a good point that it's too conservative, because really I just want to stay in front of him, but I don't accomplish that. <gasps> Malik Jackson almost got a pick. He almost got a pick. I tried, man. What did I do wrong here? Dude, his, his uh, pick animation just didn't materialize. And the ball actually clips his helmet. Okay, we're on cover three again. I'm gonna stick on Jackson. I can either try to get a jump, like, the, or just or play past D. We'll, we'll do the same thing. Hawaii comes out with three receivers bunch. Oh, I got the great jump too. <sighs> All right, punt, punt time. I imagine it's punt time. It is punt time. Yeah, I clipped it. Hey man, like the like the slogan says, if it's in the game, it's in the game. Number 18 is back awaiting the punt. He gets it away. Number 18 calls for the fair catch. Oh, get away, get away from it. Gosh darn it. I hate how they do that. Let's we'll stick with Lanier. 
And at this point, it's it's run, run, and only pass on third and like greater than five. First and ten. The Bulldog come out in the shotgun. On the option, broke away from. Ooh, here we go. <gasps> oh, I got hung up. Wow, look at Lanier fall forward, dude. He seems to be running harder and harder. Oh, does that count as a punt return? It probably does, huh? Yeah, you're, I, I didn't think of that. Next time I need to manually click onto him and uh, make sure that doesn't happen. Here are the offensive production stats. Brought to you okay, we should get over 400. That's good. Yikes, this doesn't look good here. Let's change to PA read flow. Do they change their alignment? They do definitely do not change their alignment. Oh, no, I was trying to snap it. Oh, okay, that would, hopefully, hopefully it did. Maybe that's why he kind of automatically catches it, is because of the fair catch. Okay, this could work out in my favor. We backed up five yards, but they're in a nickel. Okay, we don't want that. We'll just wait a while. One count. Oh, here we go. Look at that, dude. We're getting such good pass blocking. I mean, blocking in general. That was pass blocking, but it worked for run. And also, they were in a pass D. You see their guys just float back to guard receivers, so... That's, that's a good recipe right there for success. Okay, let's call a receiver sweep and just see what their lineup. Okay, we're not running it. We've got to audible out. They're always in this darn 3-4, man. This is so hard to... Blocking gets so screwed up. Yeah, it's true. He didn't get tackled. No, that's a good point. Okay, this guy could be blitzing on the left. Wow, get him around. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I guess I could have let it... Well, I don't want to pass it, though. I was going to say I could have let him run the swing pass. Okay, what do we got? Second and 12. Okay, I want to run WR slot option. I might even keep it here. Or motion option is what I meant. I just... I don't, I don't want the pulling lineman right now. It hasn't worked that great this game. Okay, let's get say up here. This could be a keep. Let's see if we can get him to jump off. <gasps> Ugh. Did they have any? No, they had no chance. Nobody blocked. Dude, look at I got two linemen that blocked. Come on, you guys. I don't think I faded the line either. I don't think I faded him left or right. Okay, let's see what we can cook up here. I think here we just want what the corner or here split and drag. Yeah. Third down. Yeah, right. It's funny, right? It's ironic. It's all the so two of the down linemen get blocked. Nobody else. Okay, this looks pretty good. We're going to uh, we're going to block Lanier, and this is this is going in the air. We're getting, we're seeking a first here. There we go. Actually, the left streak looked open. I'm gonna have to look at the replay. Yeah, look at Sacone running, dude. He oh. now is this is this here more because I there's just. Have I thrown it yet? When do I throw it? Look at this. There's just positively... I, okay, so the fact is, though, this guy will run over and defend. But if I bullet it, I don't know if he's getting over there that quickly. Like, I, I don't know. I need to know. Or Okay, what, what, what defense is this? This is a 3-4. This is a three, four. Let's look at it from their point of view. 3-4, what, what do people do? They rush the far ends. Middle linebackers fan out. It's a cover two. Okay, so I know what play that is. Yeah, I, I guess I need to look for the street guys more. It's just I never I never do. I just have my reads that I do. I may need to expand, but maybe that's something I need to do. I see. I need to say, okay, I'm gonna run this play, but my first read is gonna be is gonna be this instead of that. He's tackled at the 34, and the offensive line did a good job of picking up the blitz. Yep. The defense over pursued the play, and it helped them get some Okay, we'll call QB choice. We'll see how it looks. I know I talk crap about the pulling lineman. Sets up with four receivers. Okay, no shift, really, to speak of. Actually, can we move? Oh, that's interesting. Let's move, let's do that. Oh, goodness. Oh, you know what? I actually like that. 
Look at this. Look at Sei here. It was it was the two four nickel. Yeah, that was a, it was a three four where they rushed the the end linebackers, the outside backers, and then the two middle linebackers fanned out into the into the shallow two hook zones. So look at this. Look at Sei. Look at the block here. It's a lead block. It becomes a lead block. That's pretty handy. I might have to do that more. I mean, it's not the best block, but he kind of just chips him out. Like, that's that's pretty nice. Because otherwise, he just kind of runs here. I don't know. And it, also, the thing is, if he runs here, he's engaging him sooner, which means he's going to get off the block sooner. So that's pretty sweet. I might have to try that again. Yeah, i, I got to look for that one. So it's from Pete Reed. Probably look to hand it off. Okay, they're in a dime. This is good. The Bulldog. Line up with four wideouts. Actually, what happens if I bring Say up? Okay, that, that doesn't work. Okay, so in this... Okay, this is a different formation, though. I was seeing if I could bring him up into the backfield on a pass play. I'm getting just the most beast fall forwards. Okay, motion WR. No, no, uh, it was QB choice. Yeah, let's run this again. Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone. When performance matters most. So this is cool. Yeah, look at that. Look at Say. Dude, that is cool, man. That is. Dude, what do you guys think? Oh, he is, man. Pierre Thomas. That guy's a truck. I just, I love, I love this right here. Look at the. Just Say. I mean, I don't know. Having guys run up into a hole, that is just so cool. I'm really excited about this. I got to try this in other formations as well. So, okay, but I I don't know what other formations you can bring the slot guy up like that. I really don't know. Let's try this. So here it actually, oh, you know what? I think it's the guy that's on the line can't come up. So watch. I wonder if I can get Say here to come up into the into the backfield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like he can. Watch, watch. No, no, no. Ah, uh, no, it's not letting me. That's okay. I will fan him out, though. Here's the option. Ooh, get him. Get him. Oh, yes. The ball got in. Ball got in. Dude, we're not padding stats. We're just running it with our backups. Dude, come on. Please, Nestler. You got to understand. You got to understand what these guys did to us last year. They're setting up for the PAT. Oh, dude, that would have been the ticket. That would have been the ticket. You know, 64 speed, 80 strength. Oh, I, I could have gone for two. Dude, James, you keep asking for these scores that are, like, outside of what I want to do. <laughs> but I think you know you're doing that, so it's okay. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Okay, we'll go up a notch and up another notch. Let's see if this gets it. I want to get it at, like, the two-yard line. Ah, too far still. Okay, he brings it out, though. This kind of accomplishes what we want. 17-yard line, yeah. Okay, we'll go with the cover one. Yeah, you know what you're doing. It's okay, though. I like it. The negs and the adversarial aspect, this is... Yeah, it's okay, man. immediately. And they get five yards from that completion. Oh, good point. Good point. Yeah, the shutout would be nice. I feel kind of bad here because they did mass subs and I didn't. But it's like, the mass subs just don't work that well. <sighs> they got me. They got me. They got me. See, how do they do this? This is what I don't know. If you, you can see the quarterback fake fake snap count where the screen zooms out and then one where it doesn't. And I don't know how you pick between the two. Is it like a, a hard touch versus a soft touch? I don't know. Ooh. Okay, they got the first. So this is another opportunity. Okay, I might just play back with uh, with Malik and just try to just try to get a tackle or two. I just really want to try to expand his stats. Reviewing the ball spot. Clearly, this is very important. I'd say the ball spot's just fine. Okay. 
I wonder if there's any kind of glitch. Probably not a glitch on that. Yeah, they look fine. God, Bess is only a junior? 91, 92 speed? Goodness. I didn't realize. All right, here we go. <gasps> oh, I didn't get there. Yeah, I just want to get this guy a stat. Just something. Tackle. I'd be happy with the tackle at this point. just want to get him something. I guess we can go for the old jump, and if it doesn't work, scoot back. Ah, late jump. Got him again. Nice little pitch and catch with a wide out. And quarterback and receiver Third spend a lot of time together. The coaches say they the stay after practice. Actually, let's go. We'll go cover three. And we'll kind of play a shallow wide. thing here. In a four wide set. We'll go for a bad down, too. No picks. <sighs> okay. If I'd have stayed put, I guess that would have worked. First down, 10 yards to go. Hawaii lines up in a shotgun set. They'll throw on first down. Toss is short. Ooh. On the turf. Recovered by the offense. I like it. Pad some more stats. Force fumbles. He forgot about securing the football. I always told my receivers to look the ball in. Actually, this is yeah. We'll cover two man. This is the situation where uh, it, we just want to prevent the TD. Nice, that'll do it. GG's, 59 zip. To t yeah, that must be a typo. I'm thinking you meant tight end. Yeah, he's not getting he's not getting animations on that. I think he still would have been good. He had some. He's had some. He has some catch. I think his catch is like 65, which isn't terrible for starting off. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, this this was good. We got on the board early with those picks, and we got the uh, momentum early. Yeah, that was great. So we will we'll review some stats, and then uh, then call it. So I think we still just had the five picks. 80% completion or higher. That's good. So let's check it out. 458 offense. That's good. 262 rush. I like the balance here. I like this. I like having around 200 passing and then more rushing. I think that's really good for us. Third down. We did throw the one pick. Six out of six red zone is good. Five picks. Punts average. Returns. Okay. Punt return yard six. So we didn't do much there. Let's look at the individual. Yeah, dude. Five picks, right? Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. So Norton got in the action. Everybody got in the action. Clifton 134. This is really good. And I'm glad to get Lamar Miller some tick. We didn't use him much early in the season. I mean, it's... Uh, oh, I mean, it's... I, I don't care. I don't care, like... It, it's, it's, it's not, like, necessary to the game. I mean, it's just good to have good red zone efficiency. I just like to see good stats that reflect like efficient offense. Yeah, so it's not it's not crucial to the game. Yeah, and keep spreading it around. That's good. This is way better than last year. Last year it was like if this was if th if this was last year, this would be like Paul Williams, 14 catches, and everybody else. There's like two guys with one catch. That's what it would be. How did Best do against me? Do Best one for three? Wow. One catch for three yards. That's stout, man. But that was poor quarterback play. They just had atrocious quarterback play this game. Everybody, look at the spread on the picks. Linebackers getting in on it, as usual. Okay, I got to see what this emote is. <laughs> exactly. It's for my pride balloons. All right, let's let's, uh, let's see rank 29. Let's see if we increase in rank much. 
Yeah, I just I don't know. I like to yeah, it's I just like to see marks marks of efficiency, you know, good yard like good yards per uh, per attempt, passing, things like that. Look at the last four games. 50, 49, 44, 59. So that might have gotten us up to the 50 average there, uh, James. Or the 49 average that we're looking for. So now we have a stretch of home games. Now what we really want to see with recruiting is if we get guys... Wait a minute, what week was it? Week 9? Is if we get guys that uh, are ready for a visit. And I wanted to look at the catch rating on Malik Jackson. Because uh, I think he had some catch. Yeah, 65 catch. That's not bad. 65 carry? He would have made a good tight end. 78 speed? He would have been faster than any of my other tight ends. Man, he would have he would have been my starting tight end, I think, instantly. That's okay. He'll be better as a defensive end. It's Hawaii. Oh, look at this. I made the cover. Goose eggs. Hawaii whiffs against Fresno State in annual rivalry game. Yeah, dude. Let's see. I'm sure I don't appear here. Oh, I'm number 25 in the BCS, and I'm number 24. That 24, I think, is is uh, AP. Oh, dude, we cracked it. We cracked it. Yeah, he would have been a 72 tight end. He would uh, he would have been um, wouldn't have been the highest overall, but he would have been like physically by far the best. I mean, he's a full 10 points faster than the fastest tight end I have, which is insane. Dude, that is nice. So we, so we jump quite a bit. I'm surprised. You usually don't see this, but dude, we cracked it, man. It would have been most useful, yeah. Look at that. So how do my stats stack up here? Brand Stater, 15-19. Look at the stat, Brand Stater, 14-4. That's like opposite of last year. Last year, I think he had, what, 9 TDs and like 17 picks? 14-4. That's night and day. That is night and day. So here, like Longshore, 2019-11. We don't have as many attempts, though. Rushing, Marshawn Lynch is okay. Well, I guess we'll be okay with Marshawn Lynch doing a little bit better than uh, Clifton Smith. We can deal. We can deal. Average 5.8, 7 TDs, 10 touchdowns. We have quite a bit of touchdowns. Our passing still lags. Oh, here, here we should have some. Do we have some stats here? Coaches, no. Media unranked. So let's check media. So it's funny. The coaches are giving us credit here. Wait a minute. No. Yeah. Where are we at here? Fresno State. So we're number 26 in the media poll. Oh, was it 4 and 18? Dude, I'm not surprised, though. Yeah, dude, thanks uh, Thanks for the congrats. I appreciate it. It feels good to get back in the polls. I mean, and, and this is this is the setup I need to slowly increase my ranking year over year. Uh, because when I when I can just if I want to get to like you know I want to make oh the Rose Bowl Fiesta Bowl whatever I, I need to get a couple of years in a row of like ten plus wins, so we're almost there. We're really almost there. So let's look at recruiting. Okay, first thing to look at recruiting points remaining zero. That means nobody dropped off, so that's good. I think we could be ready for some visits. Okay, half back there, not there. Third, top, no visits yet. Here, official visit time for this tight end. Anyone else? Only one visit. So let's go ahead and schedule it. Does he have any feedback? Okay, no. Okay, the first one doesn't care if he has to redshirt. That's a playing time, so we won't pick playing time. We won't pick uh, program prestige. Won't pick uh, academics, and we won't pick location. Let's go ahead and schedule San Jose. Could be coach style. I don't know. Our tight ends don't get a lot of action. They don't see the ball a lot. Mostly it's because they're not good. Coaching style. Coach Prestige. Fresno State, USC, Utah. I feel like it could be Coach Prestige because you're looking at, I think you're looking at Urban Meyer and uh, Pete Carroll. It is Jonathan Martin. Dude, he's ready. He's ready. Jonathan Martin wants to be a Bulldog. He says F, uh, no, F Stanford. Yeah. I'm thinking Coach Prestige. I don't think it's going to be coach style. So let's roll with that. Yeah, that would be nice if we can free up those points. Yeah, we can add them to other players. Things are looking good. Things are looking real good. So, yeah. So what's our, let's check out our injury and our program standards. So Chas in five weeks. So is there even a possibility of bowl game we'll get him back? I think there is. One, two, three, four. Five. Yes. Okay. So we will get him back for the bowl game. Thankfully. Thankfully. Yeah. And thankfully also, 
the next men up are not that huge of a drop off from Justin, so that's good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Torsi, we may want to move, maybe on the fly, I might want to move C back to slot, but I'll do that in the game, because I don't want to do it here. Because if I, anything you set in the game, it resets, it doesn't save. And I don't want to save C as, uh, as, uh, fourth string. Program standards. Clifton. Look at this. Look at this. Clifton has academic issues next game. Well, we'll check it out when we get there. The study hall report shows that Smith is well below the necessary hour requirements. We need to make a statement to him and the rest of the team. Freaking heck. Look at the NCA team interest. Look how much it jumped. I, I'm going to lose scholarships. Dang it. Well, it's a good thing we had a nice recruiting haul last year because, and we, you know, we don't, I don't think we're losing a ton of seniors, dude. My interest, it was probably, it was probably a little over a quarter. It was somewhere in between, I'd say a quarter and a third of the bar. It, but dude, I can't, I can't suspend him. I can't do anything. I don't have enough points. I can't suspend him. Yeah. I need points to suspend him. I don't have any points left. So that's the issue where during off-season recruiting, you choose budget between player development, recruiting, and discipline. And I think I lowered discipline a little bit. I lowered it a little bit. I think even if I left a default, I don't think I could have... Uh... Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, because I had... I had uh... So here you see Tapia. We also had uh, Lubinsky got popped. And then earlier in the season... Uh, I think there was somebody else. I don't remember who, but earlier in the season, we had somebody get popped. So I don't know what interest bar you have to have. I feel like at the end of the season, I'm going to get hammered. I think I'm going to get hammered. Yeah. But I think even if I left a default, I don't think I would have been able to sustain all these suspensions. So it could be kind of moot. But I mean, I guess I'll, uh, I'll have to add more points. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. Um, I guess I will have to add more points to discipline next year. That way, when guys pop up, I can really hammer them and then hopefully get that interest down. Yeah. Ah. So here's what I don't know. I don't know if you have one season of high interest if that gets you sanctions. Because you can get some really bad sanctions, like you lose TV games, so you can't your your recruits won't see you on TV. You can lose bowl game eligibility. I mean, that would be that would be killer for this dynasty. That would be terrible. Killer in a killer in a bad way. Oh, there we go. Yeah, top 75 in... Was it Pasty? Yep, 75. Total defense, 21. Total offense, 21. Look at that. Look at that balance. Total D, 21. Total offense, 21. I hope I hope that's the case, but I could swear that they take away TV games. But I mean, that's one of the things they can do is take away TV games, and I believe it makes it so your recruits don't see you as much. You're not as visible. Oh, man. I sure hope not. So let's go ahead and save. And I think that'll do it for the video. So as soon as I can get over to my laggy input and hit stop. Yeah, thanks for joining the stream. Worst TO difference? I think I have one of the best TO differences. I think I have one of the best. If I'm not mistaken. But sure, I'm sure it means... Uh, Sure, it means things will go sideways. Thank you, Triple J, and thanks for coming to the stream again. Thanks for joining. So yeah, that's going to do it for the video. I'm going to hit stop here, but uh, yeah, thanks for enjoying the revenge game over Hawaii, and we'll be back next time with San Jose State. So we'll see you then.